bad night. Oh, that is a lot of reach. As a, as a collegiate athlete, you know he's got really good athleticism. So I want to see what he's bringing to the table here. Again, I believe these are debuts for both parties. So you never know what you're going to get here, guys. Three two-minute rounds. So Nate really good about measuring the distance with a long jab and his push kicks, using some feints in there. So Nate's looking good, man. He knows what he's doing here. Dennison kind of lunging after Sone. A little more stagnant, kind of waiting for the guy to meet him in the middle. But he's just a little late to the party on all these in-out based exchanges. Sonny's distance management's great. Dennison kind of getting the rhythm here, looking to trap him down against the fence, shut down all that lateral movement. But he's just waiting too much. He needs to initiate more. Definitely when Carlos coming out of Alice Martial Arts, you definitely know he comes from a well trained, he's got a, a lot of different bodies and some of their different looks. You know, so he's definitely, I have no doubt he's coming in here prepared. And you can see that here in the first round. So nice form is sharp. Danielson's aggression, though loopy is connecting. Both of these guys are doing a great job in here, respecting the clinch rule for a kickboxing match. Yeah, neither one of these guys are afraid to throw a punch. There's no, no hesitancy. sir. We've seen a little bit of hesitancy in the previous. Uh, so Nay pushing into the clinch yeah. on this one, not liking what was being thrown his way, and that's round one. <laughs> so here, action, I would definitely, even though both fighters engaged and were you know, definitely we're landing punches there. That first round, I'm going to give the edge over there to Carlos Sone. You think so? I think so. I think his movement really told the tale. Hit and don't be hit. It kind of reminds me of a karate style, honestly. Yeah, you can see the way his stance is a little bit split, and he, the way he's bouncing. He has sort of like that old school, you know, karate in and out. All that running, but getting yeah, him caught up on the fence. Him down. Just at least trying to. Right, yeah. Teller's striking might not be the crispest, but this man's been in some fights. Sonet trying to say he had a low blow, but when the ref didn't call it, mystically brushed it off and looks just fine. Sonet pushing the clinch again. Is Sonet getting tired? Is all of his lateral movement gonna wear on him more so than the attacks coming from his, his opponent? Dennison pushing Sonet to the fence, landing shots, starting to look more dominant. Good shots landed. Sonet again, pressing the action into the clinch. Dennison has just shown that first big sign of being exhausted. Dennison touching Sone, not very hard, but he's still getting reactions out of it. Sone rushing the clinch across the cage, looking to open up, and now Dennison tying him up. We got 10 seconds left in round number two, and these guys are still getting after it, man. Especially when it seems like they're both, you know, the exchanges are even back and forth. The first 10 seconds and the last 10 seconds, I always say, are the most important. That's what sticks in the judges' minds the most. First 10, last 10. How did you open the round? How did you close the round? That is what's going to tell the tale here. But what we're seeing is Sone's uh, output is so much lower, but it looks more refined. 
Telson, or Tellor, his, his shots are coming out loopy, kind of wonky. They don't look like they have a lot of power on it, but he's landing but he's six, landing. seven, eight shots. Exactly. So does power tell the tale? Does volume tell the tale? Because really, none of them have taken a ton of damage. No, it's a matter about quality over quantity. Third and final round, and we're off. Yeah, I'd say it definitely could be one and one here going into this third round. I give the first oh. round there to Carlos Sone, but then the second round, Denson Teller definitely stood the test of time, and he didn't back away from anything. I think he, Denson, in the second round, he brought a little bit more pressure and landed way more strikes in volume. He definitely did. Carlos. I got Sone in the first. I got to give Dennison, Dennison the second yeah, the just second. for volume. But these guys are playing rock'em, sock'em robots right now, guys. Whoever can push through their exhaustion right now is the one that's gonna take this fight. Both guys are tired. Both guys are drained. You only got 55 more seconds. The round's half done. Who's gonna keep throwing? Big step in jab there from Sone. Sone with the jumping overhands. Dedelson looking to tie him up, land a shot of his own. Right now, Dedelson is in that exhausted punching bag zone. Big knee to the body. Shots being thrown. There's no quit in these gentlemen, and we got 15 seconds left, so whoever takes this is gonna take it right now. Ooh, Sone landing huge shots at the bell. And one right after. Yeah, this one here is a toss up. It can go to either, either fighter. Decision right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your judges have reached a unanimous decision out of the red corner, Carlos Sone.